Tennessee Vols take on the Florida Gators Saturday from Neyland Stadium. Trying to break the streak of nine losses in a row. We all know what this game means. And we're trying to we're trying to write a new future in Tennessee football. We can't change we can't change the past and what's happened these past nine years. You got you got Gator Boo on here. Um so, I mean somebody needs to send him a paper bag or something. Because that way he can stay for the whole Florida games when he goes and doesn't have to leave in the third quarter. So maybe that's something somebody can get Gator Boo in the near future. But Tennessee's a team trying to break through and rise back to the top, as Butch likes to say. Florida Gators are a team that's, let's just say, on the downswing. However, Florida won, went 4-8 and eight last year. And one of those wins was the Tennessee Volunteers. And every time I think about that, it just sickens me. It's just, I mean, I just, I can't get over that. We can't get back until we prove we can beat the Florida Gators. Now, if that's gonna happen, this Saturday is yet to be determined. I mean, you look at it, Florida's always got good athletes. And Tennessee's, we've got the athletes there, I think. It's to the point that I believe we can compete with anybody. And I truly, when I come on here and say that I believe that, it's just we got to fix we got to fix the mistakes that we continue to have week in, week out, that's costing us crucial at crucial times in the game and it's costing us the game. We gotta fix that. And it's gotta start Saturday. I know I've been I know I say this last week, but this truly is a must win game for Tennessee. You look at it, we cannot go two and three because there's gonna be we have no momentum. And I, that's gonna be hard to turn around. We have to go three and two. Hope I'm pretty sure Von Pearson and Josh Smith are gonna be back this week. Ethan Wolf's gotta have another big game. Give us that middle of the field threat. Mark my words right now. Jalen Hurd had 119 yards last week against Georgia. Coming back home into Neyland, I this is gonna be another breakout game. I look at him to have more than 119. Worley's got to play a good game. We got to protect him. Our offensive line's got to keep getting better. We got to protect him because we've seen what happened when he went out in the Georgia game. We cannot have that again. Defense got to keep playing good. We're the number one third down team in the country. Got to tackle. Can't have any busted plays. Got to contain Jeff Driscoll. I mean, we know that Florida's – every year they have good athletes. Got to take, got to tur get turnovers, and unlike last week, when we get turnovers, we got to put them in the end zone. This game is just such a huge game, and I'm not. I mean, there's no other way you can say is that this game is huge for the program. We have to turn it around. Florida fans, they're they beat us nine years in a row. I don't think they even view this as a rivalry game anymore. Uh, Gator Boo, and you'll have to let me know if you still view this as a rivalry game I mean just I just I wish all the, the, the talking this week could be done I wish it was Saturday but it's not thank God this game's at 11 o'clock so we don't have to sit around all day and wait but it's just everybody in the state of Tennessee that wears orange knows what game this is knows how big it is we just if there was ever one game I wish everything could go right this is it but you just you gotta you gotta take the break make the breaks yourself so just I don't I don't know such a big big game this weekend anyways go balls as always may have some more later this week not real sure 
We'll holler at y'all later. Go Big Orange.